pleased to yield three minutes to the gentleman from New Jersey who spent his life defending the voiceless. Gentleman the, from New Jersey, Chris Smith. My good friend, the gentleman uh, is recognized for three the minutes. The ranking member for her eloquent defense of the unborn child and their mothers, because there are two co-victims in every abortion, mother and baby, and I thank her for her leadership. It's extraordinary. Madam Speaker, according to the January 2022 Marist poll, only 17 percent of Americans believe that, quote, abortion should be available to a woman anytime she wants one during her entire pregnancy. And when Americans were asked in late June, June 28th to 29th, in a Harvard-Harris poll, a nationwide poll supervised uh, by Mark Penn, uh, and many of us know him, he's a very, very, very effective pollster, and the question was put, do you think your state should allow abortions up to nine months? Only 10 percent said yes. H.R. 8296 will legally authorize and enable the violent death of unborn baby girls and boys by dismemberment, beheading, forced expulsion from the womb, deadly poisons or other methods at any time and for any reason until birth. Don't believe it? Read section four of the bill. Couldn't be clearer. This bill is far outside the American mainstream and goes far beyond Roe versus Wade. And matter of fact, when the Harvard-Harris poll asked whether or not we should be doing what we're doing today in terms of Congress, they found, and I was a little bit astonished by this, that less than a third voters say that abortion law should be federally set by a congressional vote, 31 percent. They believe the states ought to be doing it. Let me ask you, uh, point out to my colleagues, because mention was made of this, abortion is not health care. Unless one construes the precious life of an unborn child to be analogous to a tumor, to be excised, or a disease to be vanquished. This legislation constitutes an existential threat to unborn children. Since Roe versus Wade, approximately 63 and a half million babies have been killed by dismemberment, chemical poisoning, and beheading, a number that equates with the entire population of everyone living in the country of Italy. If enacted, this bill would nullify almost every pro-life restriction ever enacted by the states, including parental involvement laws in 37 states and pain-capable unborn child protection laws in 19 states. I remember when a woman from Virginia who formed the group called Mothers Against Minors Abortion, she found out about her daughter's abortion when she was hemorrhaging in her bed. She came and testified before the committee and said, please, we need to know. Parental notification laws do work. And sadly, these will be nullified by this bill. For decades, abortion advocates have gone through extraordinary lengths to ignore trivialize or cover up the battered baby victim. But today, thanks to ultrasound, unborn babies are more visible than ever before. Today, science informs us that birth is an event, albeit an important one, but only an event in the life of a child. It's a continuum, life is. I ask my colleagues to oppose Fired. this bill. Uh, the youngest patients need protection. 